Hello friends, welcome. It's me, Dr. Janet Rourke, your friendly neighborhood essential oil veterinarian. And I am super, super excited um, to uh, be here with you tonight. So every, every Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, I come on here live and I actually just hang out and wait for you guys to hop on. And if you are around and you have questions about essential oils and animals, I'm here to answer those questions for you on this live video every Sunday. So if you are hopping on live, I would love for you to tell me what essential oil you're using today and what, where you're from. Uh, let me know those two things in the chat. And if you have a question about essential oils and animals, I would love for you to post that. I do have a couple of announcements before we get started uh, while you guys are hopping on here and hopefully my internet will hold up here. But um, my first announcement is that, well, we just finished up BOGO week and I hope that you guys liked it. Do you guys like BOGO week? I just loved it. I had so much fun um, telling you guys how to use the BOGO products with animals. Hopefully you ordered some. Uh, obviously we don't have them anymore because the last day for BOGOs was yesterday. Uh, but let me know what your favorite BOGO product was. And I, I really enjoyed BOGO week actually with you guys. And we also were doing it at the same time as the seven day happy healthy cat challenge, which we just finished up today. Um, and that is, was a little crazy trying to do both at the same time. Uh, my schedule was very packed, but it was super worth it and super fun. So I'm actually, so a couple of announcements. The first one is tomorrow. If you didn't see my last post, be sure to scroll down and look at it because I'm going to be teaching, um, with my, uh, very good friend, Donna, uh, class on how to earn money with doTERRA. So, so a little bit about the business opportunity that doTERRA has. If that's something that you were like, mm, I don't know if that's for me or, uh, I've, I've been thinking about it or like, I don't even have essential oils yet, but like, what is that? Like, I don't mind a good side hustle. Uh, then this might be for you. Or if you just want to hear like somebody else teach that class, that'd be a, a great one for you to hop on. It's open to everyone. It's super low key. It's just going to be on zoom. You can turn off your video if you don't want to be seen. Um, and it's, uh, going to be about four, 45 minutes long at the end of it. We're going to actually invite you to, uh, a three-day challenge that, that I'm going to be doing because Donna, my friend Donna has won the incentive trip twice. And I am really excited about the incentive trip this year because it is going on a cruise to Jamaica and the Bahamas and to Haiti, which is where we source our vetiver. And so I'm really excited about that. I've never won. Um, I've never tried. So this year I want to try and I would love it if you guys wanted to try too. And if you want to know how to do that, the, we're going to do a three day challenge starting the April 3rd to um, do that. We're going to be talking about that tomorrow during the webinar. So definitely come to that. If that's something you want to do, if you're like, I want to go on a cruise with you, Dr. Rook, Dr. Rourke, um, I would love to have you guys there. That'd be so amazing. Uh, we would have a lot of fun together. Kathy says, I use doTERRA lavender every day from Miramar beach, Florida. Hi, Trisha Ann. Um, okay, so that's my first announcement. My second announcement is on Thursday in the membership, the Essential Oil Vet membership, we are running our monthly webinar. So every month we do a new webinar um, with a different topic every month. And this month it's essential oils for animals with cancer or the, the actual topic is the truth about cancer in animals. And of course, we're going to talk about some essential oils that might help those and what the research says about that specifically. Um, so I definitely recommend, um, coming to that. If you're not in the membership group yet, let me see, do I have a banner for that? I think I do. Essentialoilvet.com forward slash members. Be sure to sign up. It's less than a dollar a day at $27 a month, or you can save even more by getting an annual membership. Um, and it's super, super affordable. And it's got over five years worth of data, um, and content. So you can, it's basically like an encyclopedia for animals <laughs> right there. Um, tons and tons of webinars and protocols and things like that right there. So I can pretty much guarantee any of the questions that you guys asked today, I've already answered in there that you can probably just search for it and find the answers to, especially if you can't get to your vet because they're closed and it's a holiday weekend or it's the weekend in general. Um, it's, it's kind of a good little backup for you. 
Okay. Um, Kathy has a question. So she says, my cat constantly has UTIs and I'm not sure what oils are best for that or how to apply. So the best thing for UTIs is actually more water. So if you're feeding a kibble, this is the worst thing you can actually possibly do for a cat that is prone to UTIs. Um, it also has to do with the pH of the urine and not it not being an appropriate pH. So the best thing you can do is give more water. And the best way to do that is to mix it with wet food. One, give wet food instead of kibble if you're feeding kibble. Two, give, uh, mix some extra water in with the wet food so they're drinking more water. And there's lots of different supplements and things like that, that that you can give as far as essential oils, though. Juniper berry and copaiba are excellent for this. Um, and you can use the kids stronger blend on the ear tips. So really good options for that. Uh, you can just do four drops of each of the juniper berry and copaiba in a 10 milliliter roller bottle, empty one, top it off with a fraction of coconut oil, mix it up really well, roll it on your hands and pet your cat with it. Um, Karen says, what calendula oil do you recommend for your itchy skin serum in, in the guidebook? Um, so there is, Amazon has one. Um, I think I put a link to it in the, in, in the recipe, the dog recipe guide. Um, I can't, I don't, I don't know the name of it, the brand or anything like that off the top of my head, but, um, but I, you can actually make your own. You can actually do your own infusion of it as well, which is what I typically do. It's pretty easy to do with just olive oil. Oh, um, Lisa says, I have a lot of the oils, but I'm afraid to use them on my dogs because I don't know how or I'm afraid they're going to lick it off. So Lisa, coming to the membership group is going to really help you with that because we teach you how to do that. And also there's a really good, easy safety guide um, that you guys can get. It's essentialoilvet.com forward slash pet safety. The good news is if you're using doTERRA oils, it's okay if they lick it. It's not going to hurt them at all, but you're going to want to dilute it before you apply it. And that pet safety guide has all that information, including a dilution chart and how to dilute uh, for your animals. And it actually covers all species, not just dogs, but that might be a really great, easy place for you to start. This is a free safety guide. It's a free safety guide for anybody who wants it. Uh, you can definitely download that if you guys want. Uh, but I would say don't be afraid because the essential oils actually really help dogs and benefit them significantly. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, Dorothy says, where do you put vetiver drops on horses to calm them? So you can put it in a lot of different places. So I like to uh, roll it up, you know, put it on my hand and then just rub their forehead with it. So there's an acupuncture point um, that is right at the base of the forelock. That is a really good acupuncture point or acupressure point for calming. And so you can, and most horses are kind of used to you rubbing their face uh, with your hand. And so I just do that. I put it on my hand and then roll it there. The other thing you can do if they don't mind their head being touched is behind the ears over the pole. Um, you can kind of put it there. Uh, that's a good place. You can also rub it on the coronet bands if they don't like their head being touched uh, around the coronet bands, or you can just even rub it on their chest and then breathing it in will actually help them a lot. Um, so hopefully that helps, Dorothy. Uh, Linda says, what's the best way to help a cat with a heart murmur? So we have a lot of oil, essential oils that help with the, the heart. Ylang ylang, um, marjoram is really good for the heart. Spikenard is really good for the heart. There's quite a few. And I actually have a, a healthy heart recipe in my, my book, my Essential Oils for Pets guidebook, as well as in that membership group. So I don't have them get memorized. I can't just like tell you the recipe off the top of my head. Um, it's something that I, you know, um, worked really hard to develop. So I would say join the membership group. And you can download that really quickly. Uh, it's worth it just for that, that recipe, honestly. Um, so definitely check that out. Um, Linda says, I have a two-year-old Pomeranian Chihuahua who licks their paws a lot. Any suggestions? So making sure the paws are clean, really clean, and you can use a microfiber cloth to wipe them off with, um, using a little bit, making sure they're not itchy. By you, you can use, a uh, when, you're, when you're wiping the paws off, you can do like two cups of warm water and about, it doesn't, you don't have to measure it or anything like that, and a drop or two of lavender or Roman chamomile and um, dip your washcloth in that, wring it out really well, and then wipe their paws. It can really help with if there's any like bacteria or yeast going on or, you know, infection or anything like that going on, as well as um, getting getting any pollen and anything off that, that might be an irritant 
uh, to that. And it, those oils are very calming and soothing as well. Uh, Trisha Ann says, I have a long haired domestic cat. He gets mats on his underside lately. He started chewing the mats and hair out. No bleeding or redness. Yeah. So that's where if he's not um, able, if you're not able to brush his belly, I'd recommend getting a groomer so that you can come to the groomer and actually getting him groomed on a regular basis to help get that taken care of because mats are very, very irritating. It actually pulls on the skin. If you think about like dreadlocks if it, people who have dreadlocks or if you have dreadlocks like it actually they actually pull your the skin on your scalp a little bit and it the under bell the, the kitty's bellies is much even much more sensitive than that and so it really hurts when they're pulling and so if you can't brush them out um yourself then i would recommend taking him to a groomer to get that to make sure he doesn't have mats and to get those clipped out um, or shaved off if you if you need to just to make him more comfortable um yeah um dorothy says are there any essential oils that can help with my dogs that with their eyes um i love that um same the same thing that we talked about for the paw um the paws the the pomeranian with the paws let me turn take off that banner there um is you can use that for eyes too. So two cups of warm water, a drop or two of uh, Roman chamomile, lavender, or copaiba or frankincense, and dip a cloth in there, wring it out really well, and then hold it over the eyes. You can do one at a time if they freak out with their eyes closed, uh, but one at a time, or you can do the washcloth over both the eyes if they're good, good boys um, or good girls. But um, and just hold it over the, the eyes for about five minutes and do that a couple of times a day. Um, and that should help a little bit with, with that. Uh, Laura says, what, uh, what oils can you use for a young cat that attacks my feet at night? So I would recommend using calming oils like lavender, uh, Roman chamomile, we have peace, console, um, uh, using a little bit of balance on your feet might help um, a little bit of pedigrain in your diffuser. We have lots of really good calming oils. Um, Adoptive um, Serenity is a really good one to diffuse at night. Uh, that might help uh, with the calming of the crazy kitty. And then making sure your kitty gets a lot of good exercise right before bed with a laser pointer or a toy, a good 20 minutes of play uh, before bed so that the, they're not like wanting to play with you <laughs> when you're trying to sleep uh, right before bed. It's a good time to play. Uh, let's see. Uh Tracy says, any words of wisdom to support kidneys and cats recommended to be on a KD diet? And is this discussed in the membership group? Yes, we already have great posts on this, including nutrition um, recommendations, homemade recipes that you can even do, as well as a full protocol as far as what oils you can use and stuff. Uh, good options include copaiba and juniper berry, very supportive of the kidneys. And then the Trisha Anister detangler I can use. Yeah, so you we actually we actually just covered this today in the seven day happy healthy cat challenge. Uh, I posted the recipe. Um, so without getting into a ton of detail, you can actually use a little bit of boiled water and a little bit of conditioner, um, a dental conditioner that's safe for kitties, um, and just like a tablespoon of it, and um, mix the boiling water and the conditioner. Obviously, let it cool. And you can, you can do oils in there if you want to, but you don't have to. And then um, shake it up really well. And then that actually is a really easy DIY detangler. Dorothy, yes, you can use helichrysum. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. That is all the time that we have. It looks like that's all the questions we have today too. So, wow, I got through all of them. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope you enjoyed BOGA week. I hope to see you tomorrow in the Zoom call. If you want the link to that, go ahead and just scroll down on my page. And then um, if you are wanting to join the membership, make sure you do it before Thursday, because Thursday we're going to be talking, we're going to be having our monthly monthly member exclusive webinar, which is the truth about cancer and animals. And it's a really hard topic to talk about, but it's, it's an important one. And it's something that a lot of people have gotten a lot of benefit from uh, in the past. So definitely 
uh, hope to hope to see you guys in there. Go to essentialoilvet.com forward slash members to, to um, join the membership. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.